hello everyone welcome to my platform i'm making a video on this turban i'm focusing on the design anyway uh please do not just assume that oh is it not this design i can make it there are some new things that i introduced that you need to see this is what my client brought and what i just showed you is what i made i had to like do some little introduction of um things that will give it a better effect and a good finishing so if you're interested in seeing how i did that stay with me and let's go so i said i'll be focusing on the design so to design the top part which is the roses and the bow I started with the roses part. The length I used is 60 inches. So I used 60 inches. That's the length and the width of 13. On a fold, it becomes like 6 inches because you have to like sew out some parts. And then after that, I fixed in 6 inches screloni. And when I was done with that, I had to like top stitch it so that the creloni can sit properly. Okay. So I started by top stitching one of the ends while I tried to smooth in the remaining parts. Okay. And when I was done with that, I went ahead also to sew the other end to ensure that the flatness and uh, the smoothness of the creloni inside the material so that's that so that is that okay you can see that i spent some little time trying to fix that to make sure that it is smooth and by the way the creloni is on a fold so now that i am done making sure that it's sitting very flat i'll just go ahead and then top stitch it to ensure also that the creloni is uh sitting properly to ensure it is firm inside the material and that i would not be losing uh, any uh, of the placement so after that i just add a little effect by top stitching the top moving in word by just like one inch just moving inward like with just one inch and then i sew it from beginning to end that will just help me to create a kind of uh, effect on it and then add a little bit to the beauty of the turban it's not just going to leave it as ordinary uh, uh roses it's going to like give it a little bit of effect that will make it look different from the normal uh, roses that we do so after top stitching it i will go ahead and close both ends that is i will bring uh, both ends together and sew it so that will help me to create a kind of joining or should i say circle after creating that circle now i will now uh, top i will now use loose stitches to pull it together all right So you can see that I'm actually cutting out the excess acrylone from each of the ends to allow only the materials to be visible there and such that when I now top stitch it, the material will be the only thing showing. No need for acrylone showing there. Alright? So...
So, so here is what I did separately from the usual uh, bow. I started by sewing my material, fixing in the crillone of 3 inches into it. Then I went ahead to take my measurement of exactly how many bows I would like to have. Okay. So, after taking that measurement, the next thing I did was that I used a uh, bony, bone, bony. You know that they used to create corset corsets uh like tailors use it to create corset okay so i use the sew able bony you know bony has the one you can sew on and it also has the one that you cannot sew on so i use the sew able bony and then i i fix it into i fix it into the uh they prepare the part for the part i have already prepared for the bow i fixed it inside so when i fix this inside i have to like sew sew it the edge so what i did was not to top stitch it so that you don't make mistake i only sew it to a very tight corner so i push it inward and then i sew all right so when i did that it keeps it in a position and it's going to help me to stretch uh, both ends it's going to stretch both ends for me so how i make the bonnet to stay is that i have to top stitch the beginning and top stitch the ending that is allow your needle to step on top of the bonnet small just for one second that one will make sure that the bony can no longer move, be free to move inside the space that you have given to it. All right. Okay. So what I am doing now, I did for both ends. I did it for the right. I did it for the left side. So it's going to make the bow, the bow to be. Uh, very stiff and is that stiffness that i would fold and when you fold it it's not just going to relax the way every other one would just relax it has a special effect a special standing effect okay so you can see the base of the turban i have made i don't know if i've made this type of base in my channel but i believe you can make it if after watching this video i even see up to 10 comments 10 saying i want this turban base uh tutorial straight off i will put it up all right i don't want anything that will hinder you at all so if this base is something you feel don't mind that every other person can do it if i can get just 10 people that say I cannot make the base and I'm interested in it. I will go ahead and make it. Okay, I make video on it. But for now, I just felt it's not too important. I believe that a lot of people can just 
create this type of base so let me just focus on what i did to get this design uh, uh outstanding different from what I, my client gave to me so that's why i did not do the cap the base but if anybody just 10 persons I see up to 10 comments that say I need training on the base. I will go ahead and do it. All I want is for you to be able to create your work and do it well. In fact, I'm going to send a, a I'm going to post a picture before this video end of a work that one of my students did and she sent it to me. Men, I was shocked. That's what I want that is after watching videos from this channel you should prepare your own as a pro as a boss lady that's what i want my friends that's what i want all you just have to do for me is encourage your friends to view and subscribe to this channel all right that's all you can do for me you can't you can't come and pay me now you cannot come to my house and say i want to pay you or you want to tell me that i want to send you money that's not what i want all i need is subscribe and ask other persons to support the channel it's okay for me i want you to be able to watch videos from this channel and you do well with your production it's enough to give me joy i'm sincere about that one okay so if you see the loop i used to wrap it this bow together now you will see that i added acrylone inside i just want it to be bold you know, if you use ordinary material to wrap, it will just be flat, it will sink inside, it will not be well defined. Like when you add acrylone to it, there are just some little things we do that makes a difference in our, in our work, all right? But of course, those of you that have been following me for some time now, you know that I'm not that type of person that wants to hide the secret of what I do. If I say I have a community of people subscribers that i'm interested in i should be able to be selfless towards them so whatever works for me i want to show it to you let it work for you as well all right so you can see that when we use this uh, method to belt the material cannot just uh, relax inside and looking like um, i don't know it's not it's not usually like professional but you can see this one now after betting it you see the belt is outstanding the bows are outstanding because we have both crillone and um, and bony inside all right so after this we we'll just go ahead and fix it to the turban and we are done for the training of the day i do hope you enjoyed today's training god bless you thank you for staying with me watch out for more videos and please encourage other persons to like us subscribe to our channel watch our videos encourage them to follow us on all our social media social media platform don't mind me all right so thank you very much i would be seeing you in my next video for now it's good night bye